All right, guys, it's a nice crisp fall day here in Nashville, Indiana. We're getting ready to set this dump bed on the Army dump truck. You guys don't want to miss this. All right guys, welcome to the channel. As I showed you outside, we had a dump bed. We're getting ready to stick on this um, five ton military truck. We actually prepped this thing back, oh, a couple months ago probably. Um, we've been waiting on beds ever since. So now we just kind of got caught up somewhat. I've already, this actually used to be a cargo truck. It had a 20 foot long bed on it. I cut like four foot of the framer off back here. Welded in the hinge, you can see how long it's been sitting outside it's all rusty we gotta clean it off we're gonna weld the bed on there but i put a notch in the frame and welded that all in there um we got our cable here i'll show you what that does later um got our bed props there safety props and they call this the trunnion it's gonna hold the cylinder we're gonna install the cylinder here in a little bit in our oil tank um we've actually already serviced the truck it's been painted we do have to put uh tires and wheels on it later on after we get the bed on i think we're going super singles we'll probably do that later on um i've already put the uh probably can't see in there the pto the hydraulic pump there's actually a video on that and i'll try to link that in the description um down below um we actually did that in a separate video because we actually sell the pto so if anybody buys one they want to see how to install it so that's why we did that separately anyway we're gonna get uh, got a hydraulic tank and some mounts. I think we're gonna stick it on there first. It kind of sits in this area here. The reason they sell a triangle tank here, the reason we don't use it, it's got a transfer case sitting here and it's kind of in the way. It's sticking up above here, so we can't put a tank in there. So we've done, I don't know, probably 40 of these trucks or so. We're gonna mount that round tank up here, get it filled up with oil. Already got our uh, line run up here for our cylinder. We'll get the cylinder in there. And I think I need to go ahead and wire the uh, tail light harness in there. We'll get that done. And then we'll be ready to take it out and set the bed on it. All right, we got our tank up here. I got, uh, I got to put a plug on two sides. It's got three ports on it. So we're going to plug it off on two sides. And I got a nipple in here. I'm going to put a ball valve so we can shut the, uh, Shut the oil off if we need to service the system, hydraulic pump or cylinder, any of that stuff, so we don't have oil going everywhere. So this is going to be our suction line that goes to the pump. Randy and I is going to get all these tightened up in here, and then we'll set the tank on. All right, we got our valve on there and got our plugs up. Randy's taking the cap out here. There's a little strainer in here. Don't take this thing out. It takes forever to get oil to go through there. So we'll leave that up out until we fill it up with oil and we'll put it back in. This tank holds, uh, I believe it's 30, 35 gallons. We only need about 25, 27 of that. So we'll fill that plumb full and that'll be good for us. So we've got these saddle mounts here. We're going to fasten up onto this mount here and bolt them up. We've actually already pre-drilled the holes before we painted the truck. We're going to go ahead and get those. We got grade 8 hardware. We're going to get those bolted up. All right, we got the tank all mounted up. We got our straps tightened up. You guys can see that. So right now we're getting ready to hook up the uh, 
suction line that goes to the hydraulic pump. Got a clamp here for it. So this is an inch and a quarter suction line. Just slide on that bar fitting. I'm gonna tighten that up there, Andy. That's good. We need a three quarter. We'll take this uh, pin out next and we'll get that paint cleaned off there. And then we'll, uh, Randy, get the cylinder explained over there and we'll hook it up. All right, got the um, pressure hose hooked up. It goes in the top of the cylinder and feeds it down that way. Um, got everything zip tied up. We're ready to set the bed on. We got Randy's filling the transmission up in there now because um, we had to drain it out to put the PTO on. Then we'll take the truck around outside and probably go over to uh, the hydraulic uh, tank over there because I can't reach. My hose don't go that far across here, so we'll drive the truck over and uh, fill it up over there. So what we're going on right here, I've got, uh, got our uh, wiring harness for our bed here. It's got lights in the bed. Um, and so the yellow is your turn signal on your left side, the right is the green on the right side um so i've got the uh you see i got the lights on now just the headlights i've got the old pigtail harness off the back of the bed here we're going to see which one is um ooh, right off the bat that's our uh, tail light harness we're going to strip it it's actually our run light so that's going to go to the brown wire it's kind of a universal color on anything as far as your running light, so we're gonna hook it up here, and then we will uh, repeat with the left and right hand turn signals and find those because we just need the three wires for the uh, bed. I already got the ground hooked up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this crimped, and then we will uh, find the lefts and rights. We'll get all the stuff heated up and shrink down, taped up. We'll terminate the extra wires there for um, blackout lights and stuff like that the army uses stuff we're not going to use so we'll get all that uh, buttoned up here and then we will uh, drive it around and put some oil in the tank all right got the wires all tidied up taped up tied up we're ready to set the bed on back here we're going to fire the truck up take it outside go over to the other door and fill up that hydraulic tank we gotta check the transmission in here too. We got it fired up. Let's see what happens. I right, got your truck over Randy's gonna fill that tank up with uh, hydraulic oil and I've got a new special helper it's gonna help me out side on the bed over there he's special I'm an equal opportunity employer I just had to say that we're gonna get some chills we'll climb up in the bed and take the top pin out where the cylinder hooks on at so all right back outside Kevin's doing the splits getting in the bed here, I got all these tools here for you, bub. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Might oh, need those later on. Okay. I like to took you out. I see how good a job you did taking this bed up in here. Okay. Black on black. Can't screw up, right? That's right. <laughs> Hell. Okay. So, up in here is where that cylinder attaches to we put in we're gonna get uh, that pin pulled out a lot of times they got paint look at all that crap. Oh, 
scrape that off here for you. Oh! What'd you lose? Your beer can? Look, I'm look so up. good I even painted the can. Really? <laughs> I made them up the sock. Get all that crap off here. Somebody painted it all black. Huh. Let me hold that nut for you. I'll be dipped. I'm ready. Okay. B. Can't drop it. You know, I got all kinds of crap on there. Oh, well, that's gonna be a good one. All right, Kevin's gonna finish hitting it with his purse, and then we'll get that pin cleaned up. A commercial break. Commercial break. We're gonna hook her up to the crane and pick her up. All right, we're back after commercial break. Kevin's got the pin out. He's cleaning her up. I'm gonna fire up the crane or attempt to. If I can get my door open. Just need a little love. Let's see what to do to start up. Oh yeah. swing brake off here. See if we remember how to rub it. I've got uh, way too big of a chain on there. That, that bed's got some hooks on the inside of it. And those chains are way too big to go in there, so we're going to put on our other sling. We're going to try to get those chains down there in that box. Gotta make sure that we're lined up center in the bed this way. I can see this way, but it's hard to judge distance this way. So he's got me lined up and he's hooking all four chains up even. So I'm gonna get ready and pick her up. Randy's got her tank filled up, got the cap on. I'm gonna back her around to the bed.
temporarily set it down in the frame, leaving it hang over long here, because we got to grind the paint off right there where it welds on this bed here. so I can weld it. And what we'll do, you can see we're sitting way far back right now. We just got that on there for a safety when we get underneath of it. So what we got to do is lift it up and we got to get that cylinder up in that pocket where we pulled that pin out. So we'll lift it up and then we'll set it down on here. So the front of the bed should be flush with the front of this trunnion and we got to be centered up left or right on it. Uh, give you guys a little look. Alright, we got her set down for the first time. Checking our clearance there. We got a little over an inch. I think we're good. We're sitting about flush with the trunnion. It's almost like we did that before. Still professional. Still professional. So, Kevin's going to go up there and unhook that chain, I guess, and then we'll put the pin in next and we'll back the truck up and get the hinges welded on. try to do is extend that cylinder up a little bit so I'm going to start the truck up and build some air up Got it. That was painful. We're gonna get the bolt in there. Keep your bolt, put the covers back on. We'll be done up here. Stretch. All right, Mr. Kevin's putting on the last access door to the pin there. We got it all in. We're gonna back the truck up to the back of the shop here. The bed moved forward a little bit, so we're going to slide her back with the forklift. It slid up a little bit when he's hooking the cylinder up. So we're going to get backed up here to the welder, slide the bed back a little bit, and get her tacked on. All right, we're backed up here, getting ready to do some welding. I'm going to weld around uh, three sides of the hinge, of the two sides in the back here. We got to get that one down a little bit. Um, we got everything lined up and centered up, so we'll get those welded up, and then we will. See if the bed picks up. All 
All right, got the weld on there. On three sides, both hinges. We'll weld this one on over here. Kevin's going to uh, fire up the truck. Let's see if she'll pick up. Flip up prop rods next, safety rods. What do you think? Did it work? Safety first. Safety first. Got hit my building up here. Hey, I was watching you. Were just giving the That's right. I'm gonna flip those prop rods up. Prop. Check your cylinder out here. We got you in. It's a long way up there. So I still got two weld you got the tailgate lever dump levers it down uh, no mark this so these two things are going to run our air tailgate you hear the air hissing i don't have these down so this one down is going to do the closed one that's this one here i'll mark this cl hit the open pull it up yep okay that's the open, so we know which one's which. We're gonna hook the tailgate cylinder up. We gotta hook it up here. We gotta weld that on there and leave those loose so you can make them fit your cylinder. So I'm gonna finish welding up these two little cracks and weld that up, and we'll be done welding. Then we just gotta run the wires and the uh, air tailgate stuff. All right, got the rest of the hinges welded on. I got the tailgate uh, latch welded up. Kevin's putting in the uh, tail lights. Not scratching your paint job, are you? Nope. They're just old, normal old LED commercial lights. Multi-voltage, because these trucks are 24 volt. So one thing we got left here is air tailgate cylinder. So you flip a knob up in the cab and this cylinder will come out and actually move this rod which in turn opens your tailgate here these latches so i'm gonna get it all hooked up i've got all of our fittings started here got them all uh thread sealed up snugged up a little bit and we'll get this hooked up Let's see if she works These tailgate cylinders are pretty much generic for any any truck bed. It's kind of one thing fits everything. Nothing special about them. They're just a normal cylinder, air cylinder. Put pins in, Bobby. In. 
I'm going down there, that's hot up there. Pin one. Pin one. Pin two. Too long. Got like a pair of flowers, really huh? Hot right there. Yeah, you need to paint those hinges. Oh, I can, I can tooth on it. Bob Ross it. Got some leftover in it. Good paint. Might need a pair of flowers for that. I'm just saying. Are you a man? You just need bigger manly fingers. Don't you want make my weight? Maybe I need to put my purse down. That's right. Get that! Get that! How's your fingers feel now? <laughs> Trying to be all cool I, and I'm tough, a, right? Gonna, because the camera's on, aren't you? <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna cry now. You gonna go get you a Band-Aid? Yeah. I'm gonna get third degree burn. I left it warm so the paint would dry. I can tell. I can't get to it. I like to cheat. I turn it sideways. <laughs> There it is. You got me whistling that song. It's okay. It's morphin' time! Special. Go, 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 go. Special, special. Ready, He's singing the Power Rangers song, if you guys didn't hear that. I got the dump truck cylinder, air tailgate cylinder hooked up. So, Kevin's gonna put some more runs on the truck bed over there. So, this cable that I put in earlier, um, so what it does, we're gonna fasten around that rod and we gotta get it adjusted. So, when you're lifting the bed all the way up, um, this is just basically a one-way cylinder, so it just goes up stop so if the operator keeps holding that lever raising that bed up it's just going to keep building pressure and could potentially blow out that cylinder or damage something so what that cable does when that bed goes up we're going to adjust it where it actually kicks the pump in neutral that cable goes all along through there and back up to the hydraulic pump so basically when that bed picks up it's going to pull that cable and kick that pump in neutral even though the operator could be holding the lever engaged raising the bed so it's basically just a a safety is all I did, so I just kick the pump out neutral. So we'll uh, finish that up, get that adjusted, and make sure everything works. What we're looking for is that cable to get tight and kick that pump in neutral while he's still holding it up. that cable a little bit because it wasn't quite kicking it out. Come on, Daniel. 
up too quick now, so I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. check to make sure the tailgate uh, cycles then we'll check the lights go ahead and close the tailgate Let's see if these arms come down yep open it back up beautiful you go ahead and close it how about our lights? We got running lights. A right turn signal. A left turn signal. Look beautiful. I think we're ready for the mud flaps. And then we gotta get some tires and wheels for it. We're putting uh, some 49 inch tall super singles on it. Some big dudes. Kevin's gonna get the mud flaps installed, aren't you? Master mud flapper. Master mud flapper. Now right, we're getting the mud flaps bolted on. Why is the sun so bright? Because it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, Mr. Rogers. Did you lose your nut again? Nope. Got it. I'll let you run the power tool this time. I'm ready. You got that bracket. Cool. Come on. You're not tight there, Bobby. Look at you. I'm, I'm back here. You think you're on the mail start? <laughs> Quit. Beautiful. So, it's been a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. That's their bracket. Need straightened up. The bed builder, Bennett. We'll fix it up. So we gotta put super singles on it. There, that's better. These mud flaps look super long right now. It's just because we got the small tires on it. We'll get the big ones, they'll look better. We got our uh, tailgate spreader chains on back here. I think other than what tires, I don't know, somebody don't have any windshield wiper arms on it yet, too. You know anything about that? No. We've serviced it and changed the oil. Somebody likes painting things and not putting the windshield wiper arms back on them. So anyway, you guys let me know what you think. We get the tires on it, and we'll do another walk-around video of it. 
All right, guys, back in there putting tires on the truck now. We had uh, one leak in here. These military uh, tires are actually a split ring. They have an O-ring in, in between them. And it was leaking, so we replaced it with a new O-ring. You can see that one wasn't square. New ones are all nice and round like that. Anyway, Randy's airing that up. Kevin's got uh, two tires in. You can see the difference between the super single and the stock. Of course, we don't have the other inner dual end, but... So we're gonna get the other tires put on here after Kevin gets that jacked up. Randy's gotta finish checking those other three tires there. And we'll get this side put on. Then we'll go outside and do a walk around. All right, we got one more O-ring here, it's leaking. We're gonna undo the rest of these bolts here. We got them all broke loose already. We're gonna take these out and we'll show you where the O-rings are. These are two-piece wheel, like I said earlier. The military uses these on almost everything. It's 20 inch wheel, so it's kind of special. They got this tall lip here too. It's just taller than a standard lip, so military tires are all special. And we're gonna go ahead and get these buzzed off here. All right, the next thing we're gonna do after Kevin gets done blowing his brains out, <laughs> we gotta take this here, they actually call this a tire hammer. We're gonna hit this and break the uh, bead loose on that wheel. You done or you want me to? I've never done it, so. Well, let's watch best, you do it on camera. Be the best way to do it. We usually stand right there in the center. He's we gonna, call this trial by fire. He's gonna we? tear up all of his paint too. Oh, you got it. Like that. You got the easy one, right? No, bro, it's just all that muscle. So, way down in there is a little O ring. We'll get it popped out. Really? Aren't you, supposed, aren't you supposed to say excuse me on camera? Sorry. People might not appreciate that. So, as you can see, this O-ring here is not round anymore. It's like a triangle shape. Somebody smashed it. I blame you. We need to get a blowgun and blow it out. We'll blow it out, get that clean. Sometimes these get rusty. This one's not. It's got good paint on it, so Randy's going to blow it out. We'll get a new O-ring in there. And we'll put the other part of the wheel back on. So if he's taking a tire off, you would have to break the bead loose on the other side, and then the wheel would fall right out. So. So if you see, a lot of times you'll see these tires are low or flat on these military vehicles, especially the super singles, but normally that's what it is. It's O-rings leaking on, on that two-piece wheel. Um, they just don't last forever, so. Anyway, I think that's the last one we got to change out. We got this side on, and we got to put this side on yet, so. You know, the old style tires actually have a tube type in. They got a tube in them, so. You don't have that problem with those, but these are tubeless, so we'll get these other three put on, and then we'll get back and do a walk around. All right guys, got the dump truck pulled out here. Jay's actually getting some pictures of it. We're gonna put her up for sale. See what you guys think of her. Got her out here in the sun. Got the tires all on it. 
bed raised up. Give you guys a little walk around. This truck will be for sale. I'm sure by the time you see this video come out, if it's still here, I'm about a couple weeks behind on videos, but it's got a 16 foot uh, dump bed on it. You can always go to our website at ccsurplus.com. Um, we do have a few other trucks in stock we can build beds too if this one's not available anymore but you guys seen all the videos and stuff of us putting it together there's a video putting the pto on bed 16 foot long it's got 44 inch sides it's got the uh, nhc 250 855 cummins in it it's got the 49 inch tall 1400 r20 tires pretty much all brand new so anyway if you guys like the video let me know um definitely comment if you've not done so already definitely want to subscribe um we've got all kinds of stuff coming out so some pretty cool stuff i'm actually gonna take this truck out here in a couple minutes i'll put it to end this video i'm gonna spread some stone on our lot because it's getting a little a little nasty out it's getting that time of the year so guys be sure to hang around at the end of the video we'll get a little dump truck action there we're gonna get pictures and stuff over here first so definitely let us know if you liked it you can always give jay a call if you want a dump truck like this or this one if it's still available so i'll put a link in the description to this truck and everything too so you guys are looking about buying it but definitely let us know if you liked it we'll catch you next time Sewn in the truck. We've got the parking lot graded up, cleaned up. We're gonna go spread some fresh stone again. You can kind of see it's kind of all mushy, lime dusty. We got 53s on here, but we have to top coat it with these sevens or eights every oh a couple times a year maybe. But it's fall, we're starting in winter time of the year. It's getting a little soft. We're gonna set you up here and see if we can spread some stone.
All right, hope you guys liked that bonus footage. We uh, used all the stone we had here. You guys can see that. Looking pretty good, if I may say so myself. Truck worked good, got it all muddy, of course. We had the chain set pretty tight, so we just spread and rock a little bit. So basically when you set those chains, that tailgate can only come open so far, so you can control your stone that way. So pretty much got everything covered up. We should be good to go. Catch you guys next time.